Problem number 39, find all solutions to the following equations. So the equation is x cubed minus 27 equals 0. So here what we have is the difference of cubes. We can write this as x cubed minus 3 cubed, because 3 cubed is equal to 27. And there is a formula, right? If you have a cubed minus b cubed, the formula says that it's a minus b, so you keep the sign, and then it's a squared, and then you switch the sign, so plus ab plus b squared. So we can use this formula um, to work this out. So a here is x, and b here is 3. So this whole thing here uh, becomes, so a minus b, so it'll become x minus 3. And then it's x squared, so x squared. And then ab, so plus 3x, plus b squared, so plus 9, because b is 3. And this is equal to 0. Good stuff. Now we have a product equal to 0, so we set each piece equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0. And then here we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. Super powerful formula, right? Difference of cubes. Really, really good stuff. Um, here you can add 3 to both sides. You get x equals 3. Boom, that's one of the answers. And so now we just need to solve this. Now, this uh, is going to take some work. Um, we can do it one of two ways. We can complete the square, or we can use the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So recall in the quadratic formula, you have to find a, b, and c. So there's a 1 here in front of the x squared. That's going to be our a. So a is 1, b is 3, and c is equal to 9. And I'll write the formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root, and it's b squared minus 4ac. And it's all divided by 2a. The whole thing is divided by 2a. So now we carefully plug everything in. So let's see, uh, b is 3, so this is going to be negative 3 plus or minus the square root. Um, so this is going to be 3 squared, so 9 minus 4. a is 1, and um, c is 9. Yep, looks okay all over 2a, so 2 times 1. So the 9 came from the b squared, right? 3 squared is 9. 4ac, a is 1, c is 9. Yep, looks okay. So x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root. Okay, let's see here. we got to be careful. 9 minus 36, right? It's 9 minus 36. So that's negative uh, 27, negative 27. That's all over 2. Okay, I think we can keep going here. Let's try it. So this is x equals negative 3 plus or minus. So the 27, when you're trying to break this up, you ask yourself, what's the largest factor of 27 that's a perfect square? That means that when you take its square root, you get a whole number. So 9, right? Because you can write it as 9 times 3. Um, so this is 3 square root of 3. And then the negative inside the square root gives us an i. So this is 3i square root of 3 over 2. So that's two of the answers that can't be simplified anymore. And the other answer is x equals 3. If you wanted to, you don't have to do this, but if you wanted to, you could break this up. Um, you could write it as negative 3 over 2 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 over 2. Some people like to break it up. Um, it's up to you. It's a personal choice. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.